This is just a quick stop by Pecan Park Flea Market down in Jacksonville. I was in the area, so I figured I'd stop by and look real quick. This is a short video. I'm not sure what these two things right here are. Somebody let me know in the comments what they are. I was trying to open this thing up. See what it looked like on the inside, but it was froze up. It wouldn't come open. It needed some oil. This lady out here has always got some cool stuff. I like to stop there first. That's good. That's what you want. Well, I sell it cheap so they can make money off of it. The more they buy it cheaper, they get it. That's the knife shop located at N24 for knives, swords, self defense items, and much, much more. They are the largest cost paid retailer in Jackson. It's old Lynn. I don't usually sell lids, but I had a Griswold in there. I got off of me a hundred dollars for it. Dang, was it embossed on the top? Yeah, it was a good one. It was a good Griswold. I don't know what it was. Nice one. And I, I think that's a lot for shop. Located at N24. He offered me a shop. I said, well, you caught me into it. Yeah, you, you got me into it. That's what I tell them. You taught me into it when they give me a price I can't refuse. That's a big old ladle. Yeah, that's a big one. It says U.S. Navy on it, too. Oh, does it? Yeah. I'm going to take it down and look at it. All right. Yeah, I know. That's a whole pot of soup. That's bigger than my bowls. Yeah, USN, United States Navy. That's pretty good. I don't know what year that is. Not many people have noticed it up there, but a lot of things in here people don't notice. Yeah, you got so much in here. It takes about five trips to look and to see it all. Yeah, they come in say, every time I come in here, I see something new. Yeah. Well, it really, uh, I don't know a lot about it, but I bought a uh, Van Ed 1922 today. It, yeah. They say that it was cut down, that it was actually longer, but they they, huh. they they sent them in and got them all cut down because they were too long. And uh, it's broke at the end, and, I, you know, that little piece yeah. broke out, but uh, I figured still. Yeah, that's pretty cool, 1922. Yeah. What's the value of that, or what you asking for? I'll probably put, a, you know, 80 and take whatever yeah. they offer me. Like I said, I, I, I know I'll end up getting less than that. Yeah. Are you getting a reputation for yourself for knowing your, you know, the places to get? Only four dollars each. 
I've never been to the House of Fleas. Yeah, it's pretty dynamite, but I got so much work and stuff already. Big Ben. That's pretty cool. Is that right? Some wooden handles. Yeah, some wooden ones. I, I'm, I got a whole. I got about four crates full of that. Hey. Four totes. Big yeah, people tote. like it. Yeah, they're a little worn, but they're not bad. They like them potato mashers because they're so much stronger than the new ones. Actually, max mashed potato without a Yeah. But see, this is a place to put a huge shoulder. Yeah. Just to get some extra force. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I had a box in front of this, and the guy bought the box last week. And the customer seen it up here and wanted to see it. But coffee grinder? Yeah, an old coffee grinder. That is cool. Then the bottom jar isn't the right thing, but the top one's the right thing. Yeah, that's good. I bought one of these one time at an estate sale. It was still on the wall. I had to take a, had to borrow a screwdriver from the owner to take it off the wall. Yeah. The bottom one's supposed to be metal, I think. That is cool. But it's different. Yeah. I sold, mine sold quick. I, put, I don't remember what I got for it, but it, it brought good money. Yeah. But I got more on it. I got too much on it, I think. I, one sixty-eight fifty. Yeah, but, I got way too much, but... I mean, I got probably about that on eBay, but then I had to pay fees. They get 13, 14%. Well, it, that's the eBay price, but I got, yeah. I got the leave. It's cool. The market. The original glass top. Yeah. A lot of them got broke. Yeah. Oh, you that. Here's some knives for some of the viewers that like knives. This is a knife shop down in Pickin Park Flea Market. They got hundreds and hundreds of knives. Old knives, army knives, hunting knives, and they got new knives also. And I just stopped in there real quick. I didn't really take a lot of time to do a lot of real good videoing, but I wanted to take a quick look in there to show everybody the knife shop. I'm not a knife expert. I know a little bit about knives. I have bought some knife collections and sold them over the years. And I buy knives at flea markets uh, if they're real cheap. And I buy knives at yard sales and estate sales if they're real cheap. But I like to sell knives. They sell really good. But I'm not a knife expert. This, some of them knives, like that knife there, I've never seen a knife like that before. It's odd looking. Knife. Although there, those look new.
set of pole climbing spikes. I've sold a lot of those over the years. I can't make no money at that price. People that likes plush, Pecan Park Flea Market. They got it here. That crib's full of it. That's at B1, B1. At Sunny Sports Stuff, you'll find the perfect football gifts such as slippers, socks, Super Bowl replica rings, blankets, cups, and watches. There's also a limited supply of jersey and receive 10% off. So stop by to browse and visit with the fabulous gift shop and a whole lot more. Alligator Island, located near the Gator Pond, right here at Pecan Park Free and Farmers Market. Alligator Island for boats and boats. And it's different for the reason that it does. It's coming in every Saturday, 1 to 5, over at Alligator Island. I didn't buy anything at this flea market, but I want to thank everybody for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the videos. I'll catch y'all in the next one.